Hello everyone, I am back with another Sims 4 era house building. Um, so we're going to be doing federal. So with the federal houses, they are based on English Adam-esque style. Um, they're very similar to the Georgian and um, a lot of the other symmetrical houses. The similarity with the Georgian and this one specifically is you have that big front door with beautiful cresting and then the paneled windows. Uh, the roofing is very similar. A lot of the houses that I saw also had the same like fencing decoration. I decided not to do it with this one because it was complicated and it took a lot of time. Um, they also have a lot of uh, pediment, pilasters, side lights, and fan light. Um, dental molding and other decoration was very common as well. So um, the I think the main difference with this and the uh, Georgian houses is not really shown in my Sims build because of the fact that it wasn't possible. You saw in the very first picture at the beginning of the video that there was that uh, brick siding to the top of the roof. I tried a couple of different things and you'll see me like testing, um, trying to do that and it didn't really work. So I think this build doesn't look as much like the actual like house for a couple of reasons. Um, one of the things is I saw that the house kind of had like the, the corners, the brick corners kind of stood out and I tried to replicate this and as you can see me trying to do a bunch of different things to try and kind of deal with it and it didn't really work um i think for anything to actually work i'd have to somehow involve some creative content um but i'm not really wanting to do that because i do put these houses on the sim gallery sims 4 gallery so people can download them and when you use creative content it, it's kind of hard for them to get it so it's kind of seen like this this uh brick does kind of show um that like cornering that the house has but not as embellished as the actual picture does um here's me trying a bunch of different things to kind of give it more decoration uh didn't really work out so i kind of just gave up and did a lot with plant life and again here i am trying to use half walls but i found out today that like you can't have like a tall half wall next to a shorter half wall like it just automatically goes to the same height even if you select a lower one so that was really frustrating uh there might be ways to change that but um if i could have gotten this to work uh i think it would have looked a little bit more like what we were going for but i don't i still don't think it would have been the best idea so i end up getting rid of this all together and continuing with the house i with the window choice that i had for this i'm kind of frustrated because the picture has more of a square type window and here I am going through and trying to find the window that matches but it just did not work out. So um, I always say the Sims for uh, windows and doors and I don't know there's a lot they could do more with. So I added the kind of steps that were similar. I know that the actual um, picture had the steps going onto the sidewalk but you can't really do that with the sims 4 so i kind of did this instead um so i do a little bit of the exterior now obviously but later on um in the next part you'll see me do the actual um getting into doing landscaping and stuff like that i did that a little bit later in the video this staircase caused me a lot of issues for the windows because it deleted them um and i ended up not having like that second window and so at first they were placed kind of like that which was fine but when i did the upstairs placing a window in that specific place didn't work very well even with cheats on it just kind of would cut windows in half so i had a lot of issues with windows like i think at the end of this video you'll see the t second floor window does not really line up very well but I saw a floor plan of federal style houses and they all had like right next to the staircases kind of thing. Oh, the, yeah, I'm trying to turn around these stairs. This tool is kind of wonky in the way it, you, you want to use it and it can be a pain. But getting the stairs, usually that ends up being a lot, a lot, lot long process. 
got stuck on that word for a second. A long process for me, but because placing it and making sure it looks good on the second floor. But with these like symmetrical block size houses, it's not as bad. Um, I end up making this area a little bit smaller just so that it kind of fit a little bit better. Um, cause I didn't, I don't like too large a rooms with not enough, like filling it. So I, uh, made the house a little bit smaller because it doesn't really need to be humongous. Figuring out my floor plan. I actually did base it almost perfectly on the, uh, floor plan that I saw for federal houses. I didn't have to change it too much for the Sims 4 because it was very square shaped. Like you had a study, your living room, your dining room, your kitchen, and he even had like the kitchen elevated. So, or not the kitchen, the dining room elevated. So I did implement that. It had these big arches that went from the foyer into the living room and dining room. So I made sure to use the arches and some nice doors I end up adding a fireplace. I know that there's like two chimneys, one on the top of each side, but I'm pretty sure I only use one fireplace in the living room. Um, here I am choosing doors. I also hate that there are no like tall single tile doors. It all takes two. And so here I am putting those archways in. I was debating on putting pillars with um, the paneling or the banners, but I decided that I wanted arches because it matched the floor plan that I saw the best. So here I am putting doors. I always feel those doors are so short in comparison to second two level walls. I would have used single level walls if I could find a window that perfectly matched what I was going for, but I didn't. So raising the kitchen, having or dining room, having an archway in there. This I did use a pillar and then those banners. The other issue I had was matching the wood color. For some reason, even if it looked like it was the exact same like paint swatch for those archways, I just couldn't get the wood color to perfectly match. Uh, so I kind of just gave up. I, 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 I've said this before and I'm probably going to say it again. The Sims 3 having the ability to literally customize any color of anything was amazing. I know it slowed down and it caused a lot of lag, but it's 2021. Like there is, we have technology. Come on, EA. Like, of course, expecting anything from EA. I can go on about that, uh, but that's pretty much all gaming companies. Am I right? So choosing, I usually like the white or like black, like wall. Um, what do you, what would you call that? Like the, the wood part of the wallpaper and stuff. Um, I usually go for black or white, but I actually went for brown because I think it felt fit the aesthetic a little bit better. I think I probably could have put some brick accent walls if I wanted to, but I feel like a lot of the pictures you see of houses in this era show like this like uh style of wallet uh paper and paint with the wood uh bottom trim I guess is what the word would be I'm not good at like I'm not any sort of like interior decorator or anything architectural I'm a computer engineer I don't know the words for most things I'm great at like my coding so Actually doing something, talking about some of this stuff, I sound dumb because I don't know what it's actually called. I just like The Sims 4 a lot. I've been it's one of my favorite video games. So, I lay out the next, the second floor uh, before actually furnishing the bottom floor. So, I end up having a little bit of a hard time with this at first because I actually decided to have, like, the like trying to figure out one where I wanted the bathroom, like the, the, the bathroom for everybody to use versus just like the master bathroom. I had to figure out where I wanted to put the master bathroom. Here I am putting that like area so that the, like the foyer could, you have that loft. I used to have such an issue with doing this right, but now I can do it and I have it figured out where you can actually have like looking down on. It used to be such a problem that I hated about The Sims 4 that I could not get it to work. So I end up um, having a nice little balcony and then the bathroom there above the lower floor bathroom. 
I'm pretty sure I end up putting wood there. Oh, matching this fencing to the fencing. Like, I had to, like, scroll in and check every single one to make sure it was the same. Those doors always look so short. <laughs> I hate that. So, yeah, I had to figure out where I wanted the master bathroom to be in comparison to the rest. And that was a lot of playing around because I wanted it to be a larger master bathroom. But I also didn't want, like, this weird shaped bedroom. Oh, yeah. That was another issue I had was the the windows. It was the same issue I had with the, the George Arian houses or room or yeah, houses is like you don't want to move those windows too much because they have to be symmetrical. So you had to plan the room like shape and everything based on the windows, because like usually in some of my other house builds, I just move the windows. It doesn't really matter. Like it doesn't change it unless I have like the window on the bottom, like a line with the top. But then I can kind of do some moving around and get things kind of fixed up. So I always don't like I wish there were more colors you could go with, but I know everything everybody always chooses muted tones. So I end up just going with like pinks, yellows and blues because I feel like the others don't really match very well. And pretty much copying the bottom bathroom's wallpaper over redoing that window you can see that that window that is in the upstairs second bathroom doesn't really match or like it's not aligned and that bothers me I try and fix it a couple times and then I like go and don't come back to it get rid of it like I've done a quite a few moving around trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that window um I end up having like a week or two between recording these videos, uh, part one and part two, because I recorded part two yesterday and then I recorded another part of part two today. And um, I think I finally got a way that the windows kind of aligned. I noticed there were a lot of federal style houses that instead of having the paneled window on the second floor, it had like this big, beautiful kind of like accent window that kind of extended from the, s the first floor door. So I ended up doing that. So there's the fireplace I ended up in putting. I wanted to make this kind of cozy without like knocking it, moving anything too far off, but also having a TV because it's again, kind of refurnished and modernized. End up putting a couch up against the wall because it's low enough that it's not covering too much from the windows. If I were to go back, I might um put like uh curtains on the windows. Yeah. So I end up putting the table there and then the like more of those chairs. And that kind of give it a more cozy feel. It's still empty. Like if you ever have a space that's still too empty, just put a carpet in. Like a rug because it fills up the space more than you would know just it's crazy how like a simple decoration makes the space so much more full so um i think on the log cabin house video the build that um i talked i first did i remember just sitting there trying to figure out what to do with some of the space and I end up I end up asking a friend like I don't know what to put here and they're like just put a carpet and I'm like I don't think that's gonna be enough put the carpet sure enough it was enough like I, it, it it's crazy the carpets are so expensive like I don't know for me I would think a carpet would be cost more no more than like a hundred or two hundred dollars and then I go and see try and find like a large carpet and it's like yeah, six, seven hundred dollars. I'm like, that's too much for me. Like, why not buy a piece of furniture? Like, a carpet just sits there. I guess it's the same reason art's expensive. But usually with an artist, there's somebody, like, actually hand doing it. Like, my mother's an artist. So, like, I, I don't mind paying a little bit more for art to just kind of add decoration. I just, I guess carpet's a little bit different. Especially with now most of the carpet you're going to get, like, machines are making it I wanted a big chandelier here because again it's like a nice foyer and I wanted the whole area to be bright enough without adding any more lights had to figure out a light that I wanted to put in this space without being too big but not I don't know I think that 
fit well enough. Then I couldn't figure out what to do with this space where you had those archways going into. Um, but I think I, put, I ended up putting a piano. I made the bathroom pretty simple. It's a half bath. I wish when you put your things on The Sims 4, you could say, like, two and a half bath or, like, because, like, technically it's not a full bathroom. It's a half bath. Like, when you're going to put something on the market, you're going to say it's this two and a half bathrooms because you don't have, like, the shower bathtub in it. But you can't do that in The Sims uh, gallery, so. It says that it's a five bedroom, three bathroom, but it's really a five bedroom, two and a half bathroom. Yeah, so I ended up putting a piano with a carpet just to kind of fill that space. I felt like it was decorative enough. Like, you come into this nice foyer and then you see a piano. And it's a very elegant without being too elegant. Um, so yeah, the dining room. I end up making it pretty full. I was able to find a lot of solid decorations for the corners. I know in one of my last videos, I was like spending so much time just trying to find one of the corn like pl fillings for um, like it has the plates and stuff. And I was able to find like all of them doing this. I'm like, I don't even know which one I want to choose. Um, so there's one of the corner ones, and then I was just kind of looking for, like, a corner decoration for there, and I ended up putting that, and I think I ended up changing that. Yeah. I don't know, I ended up changing that a couple of times, but I wanted it to be cozy and full. Now, sh figuring out how I was going to shape the, the kitchen, I ended up getting rid of those side windows, which made it a lot easier for me to decorate, because I felt like... In a kitchen, usually it's up against, like, one of the walls, does not have any windows on it, which makes the exterior awkward, but I end up fixing that in the second video, which you will see. So, when we get there, you'll see. Figure out where to put the fridge, all that other kind of stuff. I think I actually put more decoration in this kitchen than I usually put in some of my other builds. Um, I, again, the reason I don't put as much decoration as I usually would when building or redecorating a home is because it takes time and then I'm sitting here like, oh, what am I going to talk about while we're watching me go through a million different items? So I end up slowing it down or actually putting some decoration in. And I end up finding decoration to put in like different parts of the house as well. So, like, this area, like, I put a chalkboard so that they, like, have, like, oh, put notes up there. I feel like if I were to go back and fix this build, I'd probably, I don't know if I end up putting, like, plants in that corner next to the fridge. Because that's just some random open space. Umbrellas. I don't know. This kitchen's kind of an awkward shape. There could definitely be more done with it or fixed about it. But when you have awkward spaces because windows and where your entry points are there's not really much you can do i need to find more like interior pictures of like older style stuff and so i can that i can use it more yeah as you can see going through like every item deciding which ones i want to use where i want to place them so yeah when i fin end up finishing this piece i um conclude the video here and then I end up doing the upstairs and exterior later so thank you for watching